students, first of all, I want to welcome you to our English virtual class of grade six. I hope you might have already taken out your English textbook and exercise book and a pen or a pencil. If you haven't taken them out, please take them out. Your English textbook and exercise book and a pen or a pencil. Have you taken out? Very good. Today, we are going to learn something in unit five of your textbook, okay? And that is about reading. And we have a topic I will tell you later. So you have to make a guess. It's very interesting also. You know, it's very difficult also. So later on, I will ask you some questions and we'll learn about our lesson today. So for it, you have to be very ready. You have to listen to me and you have to watch me till the end of this class, okay? Well, now I want to show you the first slide and you have to look at the picture and then you have to answer me some questions. So what is written there? Me. Yes, it is written, look at, look at the pictures and answer these questions. Have you seen the pictures? No. Now I'm going to show you. So the first picture. So what do you see there? Again. I want to show you another picture. Have you ever seen these uh, types of pictures? Some of you might, some of you might not, okay? So can you guess, looking at the picture, see what is the boy doing? Now I want to ask you two questions, okay? <clears throat> now read the first question. What's written there? Please read with me. Number A. What is the boy doing? Look at this boy. It is in black color, okay? And this is in colorful picture, okay? Colorful picture. So I am showing you these two. So this is the boy, for example. So what is the boy doing? Can you tell me? You just think, okay? Now, I want to show you, I want to ask you another question. Number B, that is, is this job difficult or easy? Is this job difficult or easy look at now i hope you might have already thought the answers of these questions now you can check whether your answers are right with my answers or not okay the first answer <coughs> see what is the boy doing yes the boy is climbing the mountain okay here also now you can see here colorful picture the boy is climbing the mountain. So what do you think? Is it difficult or easy task? Is it difficult or easy work? What do you think? Oh, now look at, it's really a difficult job, okay? This job is difficult. All the people cannot do this job. If you ask me, I cannot do this one. Okay, but there are some people who are very adventurous and they dare to climb the mountains. All right, so it means I think you might have made a guess what we are going to learn today. Now, to make you easy, to reach you, to take you to the topic, now I want to ask you again three more questions and then I hope you will know what we are going to learn today. So be ready. See, read the passage quickly and answer the following questions. So first of all, I want to ask you first question. Who are famous for climbing mountains in our country? Can you tell me? You can just think it, okay? And then next question we have is, when did Temba Chiri climb the Mount Everest? Another question, remember, who are famous for climbing mountains in our country, Nepal, okay? Another question we have is, when did Temba Chiri, see, name of a person, okay? Temba Chiri climbed the Mount Everest. You have to find out the date here, okay? Another question I have is, how old was Temba when he climbed the Mount Everest? You have to find out. 
time, you know, you have to find out his age, and you should know about Temba, Temba Chiri Serpa, okay? So it means you might have already made a guess. What we are going to learn today is, now you can check. Yes, it is a real hero. Now can you tell me who is the hero here about whom we are going to learn today? Do you think it is a filmy hero? Do you think it is a cine hero? Like Rajesh Samal, Anmol Kesi, or heroines of the films, okay? Like Karisma Manander, you know? Keki Adhikari. Are you guessing so? No. Hero does not mean that only person who acts in a film, okay? So hero means a person who really does a good work in the society, okay? That person is considered a hero. So it means we are going to learn about a real hero. And I hope you might have already guessed the name of the hero. That is Temba Chiri Serpa. And who is he? What he did? You know, we are going to learn. So be ready for it. <clears throat> now look at the picture. Who is he? Yes, he is Temba Chiri Serpa, okay? Now, I want to show you the paragraphs about him. You have to read with me, and then I'll make you clear. I will explain you about him, okay? So you also please read with me. Temba Chiri Serpa, born on 6 May 1985, is the son of a trekking guide. He saw his dream come true at the age of 16, okay? People who live in the hills love trekking. It is an important part of their lives. I hope you have also read with me. Now you have to understand, see, Temba Chiri Serpa. He is Temba Chiri Serpa, okay? His name is Temba Chiri Serpa. He was born on 6 May 1985, all right? And he is the son of trekking guide, okay? He was born in the hilly region of our country and then his father are the, his parents are the trekking guides. Or you can say his father is the trekking guide, okay? So he was a son, and let's say he is a son of a trekking guide. Is it clear? And I will make you clear about trekking guide, okay? See, and another important thing, very interesting thing, see, when he was only 16 years old, at that time, he got a great success. And what is the success you will know later and you can see background there is the mountain okay mount everest and in nepali you can say sagarmatha all right so see people who live in the hills love trekking and in our hilly regions many people live there and they love trekking so you need to know the meaning of trekking look at i have given you the meaning of trekking here Trekking means a long journey on foot. If we have to go for a long journey using our legs, okay, not using vehicles, that is what we call trekking. It means Temba Chiring Serpa is also a person who climbed the Mount Everest. See, so to climb Mount Everest, we have to walk for a long time, you know, using our legs on foot. So that is what we call trekking, okay? Another meaning, guide. What do you mean by guide? See, a person who shows the way to others, okay? So you can find there are many Serpas, many other people living in the hilly region, and they do trekking. They love uh, trekking, okay? And they walk as a trekking guide. So they show the ways to climb the mountains also. Is it clear to you? All right, then I want to show you, <coughs> let's say, another paragraph. So before that one, you can see the picture, okay? You can find there are some people and you have to think who they are. Another picture, same, Mr. Timbachiri Swerpa. And another paragraph we have seen. <coughs> the Serpas are expert climbers. You can find in our country, Serpas are very famous, okay? as the climbers, you know, 
Now, later on, I will give you the meaning of climbers, but you can just guess the meaning of climbers. Export climbers. See, is it easy to climb the Mount Everest? Is it easy to climb any mountain? Surely, it is not. We need a guide, okay, to show the way, to help us to reach the peak of the mountain. That's why in our country, especially Serpas are export climbers, okay, export climbers. Even as a child, it means uh, this Temba Churi Serpa, even as a child, Temba loved to stand and gaze at Mount Everest. See, he is here and when he was a child at that time, he loved, he liked watching the Mount Everest, okay? And the Mount Everest, you, you know, it is the tallest mountain in the world, okay? And it is mighty also. So do you know the meaning of mighty? You have to make a guess, okay, in this line. And later on, I will tell you the meaning as well. Then he made up his mind to climb the great mountain someday. See, when he was a child, at that time, he used to look at the Mount Everest, okay? He used to look at the Mount Everest. And then he made a decision himself to climb the Mount Everest one day, okay? That was his dream, you know. That was his decision. <clears throat> Is it clear? Now you can check whether your meanings are right or not. That you have uh, guessed. See, the meaning of export means a person who is good in a particular area. See, in our country, Serpas are very, they have good knowledge in climbing. Okay? So, how to climb the mountains, what sort of things are necessary that we have to take, they know such things. Okay? That is why they are export. Alright? <clears throat> Another meaning of climber. See, a person who climbs. Now, Temba Thiri is also a climber because he climbed the Mount Everest. Okay. Now, you should know the meaning of gaze. Can you guess? I have already explained you in my word also. So, gaze means look steadily and intently. Okay. Without blinking our eyes and with our intention, we know, you know, we look something a bit for a longer time. Okay, that is what we call gaze. And the last meaning in this paragraph you have to know of the word is mighty. So what does mighty mean? I think you have already known it. That is, yes, big. See, the Sagar Matha, the Mount Everest is the tallest, you can say, highest mountain in the world. And then it is mighty also, big one, isn't it? This is about his dream. Temba Thiri, when he was very small, he used to look at the Mount Everest and then he made a decision to climb it one day, okay? Then, see, these are Serpas, okay? They help the climbers to climb the mountains, all right? Because they are expert climbers, okay? They know the way to go climb the mountain, they know the way to reach the peak of the mountains, you know. So that is why they are called export climbers. So they are very famous for climbing the mountains. Is it clear, dear students? Well, then I want to take you to another paragraph. <clears throat> the paragraph is about, look at, this is another picture. It seems to be very adventurous, oh my God, you know very dangerous to go there. See, only snow, isn't it? Very dangerous. Now, can you guess? This is the Mount Everest, all right? Now, the paragraph. See, Temba was still very young. Please, you also read with me, okay? Temba was still very young when he started his training in climbing mountain, okay? When he was about 15 years old, oh, see, 15 years old means it's a very young age, you know. In that age also, he started his training to climb the mountains, all right. When he was 15 years old, he prepared himself to climb Mount Everest. Look at, he prepared himself at the age of 15 
to climb the Mount Everest, dear students. Very brave one, you know, very adventurous walk he liked to do at the age of 15 years old only. Isn't it interesting? Oh my God. <clears throat> See, there were, and while he was taking a training, okay, while he was starting his training at that time, there were nine, nine people in their group to help him. And there, out of nine people, there were three guides and there were six trekkers, okay? Trekker means a person who uh, sets a journey for a long route on foot, okay? Generally, we go for a long journey using our legs, all right? So how many people were involved in his training? Yes, there were nine. And three of them were very good. They were guides. And rest of where? Yes, they were trackers. Is it clear? Now, you have to tell me the meanings of these words. Just guess the meaning of this training. Reading this sentence, once again, I like to read it. Timba was still very young when he started his training. Okay? Meaning, okay? Now, another line we have. When he was about 15 years old, he prepared himself to climb the Mount Everest. All right. Now, the meanings that you have thought might be training. Training means education. Okay. Another prepared. Prepared means made ready. It means he started taking education. Means he started climbing also. Uh, no to practice, he started carrying the things that needed for him, you know, that is what we call training, getting education to climb the Mount Everest. And then he himself made ready when he was only 15 years old. With a group of members, there were three guides and six trackers. Okay? Is it clear to you? Fine. Then let me take you to another paragraph. So before that one, I just like to show you another picture of Mr. Timba Churi Serpa. Look at, and you have to tell me later on, okay? See, this is the paragraph. And you have to again uh, tell me the meanings of these highlighted words later on. Now you also read with me again. See, they started there climb on April 13, 2000, okay? On April 13, 2000, they started climbing the Mount Everest, okay? When they were, please read with me, when they were more than halfway up the mountain, Temba hurt his leg. See, it means that they had already climbed more than half of the way to reach the peak of the Mount Everest. Dear students, listen. It is very, you know, uh, difficult for Temba Chiri because he had already crossed more than halfway to reach the peak. But at that time, unfortunately, he got a heart in his leg. See, Temba hurt his leg. All right? There was a problem in his leg. Again, read with me. But he went on. At that time, he did not like to stop climbing that one because he had a dream to climb the Mount Everest. He used to love, you know, to look at the Mount Everest, which was very tall and you can say mighty. All right. But he went on as his injury was minor. See, injury means uh, later on, I will tell you, you have to make a guess. There was a problem in his leg and he thought that it was small. Okay, that's why he did not like to stop climbing the Mount Everest. He wanted to continue, okay, because he wanted to reach the, let's say, peak of the Mount Everest. And he wanted to wave the national flag of our country. Do you know? That was his dream. <clears throat> then they climbed higher and higher. It means they went uh, further and further, okay. They were almost at the top when Temba made the biggest mistake of his life. Ray. Look at, very interesting and very adventurous, you know. When they reached nearly the top of the Mount Everest, at that time, Temba Chiri Serpa made 
the biggest mistake of his life. See, it was not a joke to reach there. Do you know? But when he was about to reach the peak, you know, at that time, he made the biggest mistake. See, what was the mistake? Let's see. His boots had become loose. Okay, then we have to use special boots while climbing Mount, the Mount Everest or any mountains. And at that time, he was also wearing, and at that time, those boots were not tightened. Okay, those boots were loose. That's why he pulled off his gloves. Do you know, we, uh, we have to use coverings, our hands, while going to the extreme cold area. And you know, mountains are very cold, okay? And to tighten his shoes, when he took out his, let's say, gloves at that time, that led long enough time for his fingers to get frostbitten. So when he took out his hand from the gloves at that time, because of very much coldness, because of very cold, you know, that, uh, you, you know, he got a problem in his finger. That means that coldness damaged his fingers, okay? That is what we call frost beaten. So if we put our finger or any part of our body in extreme cold area, at that time we will get a problem. And Timba Chiri also got the same problem. Because of frost beaten, look at here, he got this type of hand, see? The coldness damaged his fingers. All right, look at his fingers. The fingers were damaged when he tried to tighten his boots. That was the biggest mistake he made in his life because he was very much near to the peak of the Mount Everest. Is it clear? Then the sweat inside his gloves was frozen. See, there was, a, let's say, liquid type of thing inside the gloves. And at that time, because of extreme cold, very much cold, you know, then that sweat was frozen because he took out the gloves, okay? When he put his fingers into his gloves, they started bleeding. And because of very much coldness, then his fingers started bleeding. Then blood started coming out from his fingers. So it was really difficult for him to, you know, or catch uh, somewhere to carry the things. And it was really difficult to bear the pain for him. So if he did not, try to tighten the boots at that time, he would not get this problem, okay? So it is said that this was the biggest mistake he made in his life. And again, to reach up to that point, you know, it's really difficult for him. That's why it was a big mistake. Is it clear? So now, I just like to show you the meanings. See, meanings of these words are injury. Injury means wound, okay? He got in his finger. Then, minor means small. At first, in his leg, when there was wound, he thought that it was very small one, okay? Then, we have frostbitten. Frostbitten means affected by frostbite due to very cold, which I have already explained you. Then, sweat. Sweat means wetness. Sometimes if we are walking in very odd day, at that time we get liquid in our body, you know. That is what we call sweat, okay? Dear students, after this, I just like to show you, wow, very proud, you know, my Nepal national flag, you know, waving on the peak of the Mount Everest. Very glorious moment for Mr. Tembachiri Serpa, a pride of Nepal, you know. So I want to show you another paragraph. See, you also please read with me. Temba did not want to give up because, see, he got that problem, but he did not like to stop, okay? He is climbing. He wanted to go ahead because he was very near to the peak of the Mount Everest, you know. He continued to climb. His guides wanted him to turn back, but his guides wanted him to turn back because that could be a serious problem. And sometimes we may lose our life also. You might have heard the news. Many climbers lost their lives in the mountains, okay? That's why the guides wanted to save him. So they wanted him to turn back, okay? 
Temba was disappointed now. Temba was upset, you know. He was saddened because reaching up to that point was really a difficult task, you know. And again coming back and next time again climbing Mount Everest, really a difficult task. And for some, it is almost impossible work, okay? He was so close, very near to the peak that he could see it just above him. When he reached up to that point, at that time, he thought that the peak of the Mount Everest was very near. He thought that it was just above his head, okay? That's why he wanted to continue. He had to stop climbing and return because the guides told him to stop and they had to return, okay? They had to come down, do you know, because of that problem. See, in a, as a result, what happened to him? See, five of his fingers, two of the left hand, dear students, two, two fingers were cut of his left hand and three fingers were cut of his right hand. Imagine if we have to lose our fingers, five fingers out of ten fingers. My God. See, Temba got that type of bitter experience while climbing the Mount Everest. Is it clear? Right had to be amputated, see, cut off, okay? Cut, uh, his two fingers from left hand and three fingers from right hands were cutting, cut off, you know. But he did not give up hope. He still, he wanted to climb the Mount Everest. That was his dream. That was his, uh, you know, decision. So he did not afraid of cutting five fingers, you know. So he wanted to continue. Failure could not defeat this young boy. The following year, he tried again and this time. See, that year, he could not do that one because his guides took him back. But again next year, he started climbing the Mount Everest. The following year, next year, he tried again and this time he reached the peak at 7 a.m. on 23 May 2001. See, on 23 May 2001, Next year, when he got that problem, okay, after that next year, then he was able to step on the peak of the Mount Everest. You can look at, very proudly, you know, national flag is waving, really a very glorious and important moment for we all Nepalese people and for Temba Chiri Serpa individually, okay? Then Temba, one specialist climber, and another Serpa found themselves standing on the highest peak of the world. Three people, see, one was Spanish, okay, another was, let's say, Serpa, do you know it? And another was Mr. Temba Chiri Serpa. Three people reached the peak of the Mount Everest. That was on 23 May 2001, and the time was 7 o'clock in the morning. Very important day, okay? <clears throat> After this, see, he was just over 16 at that time. How old was he? Just 16 years old, okay? So at this age, he got a great success in his life, reaching the peak of the Mount Everest. Now, meaning, see, give up, stop trying. He did not stop trying, okay? Disappointed, he was sad, you know, upset, close very near, okay, near the peak of the Mount Everest. Amputated, cut off, see, five fingers were cutting, five fingers were cut off. Then defeat, beat or loss, okay, he did not beat himself. Again next year he tried and reached the peak of the Mount Everest. Now, see, the last paragraph I want to show you, see, this is certificate, okay, Guinness World Record, because he was the youngest Nepalese to reach the peak of the Mount Everest. So his name was recorded in the Guinness World Records. So this certificate was awarded him, okay? Now, Mr. Temba Chiri, another picture. Now, this is the last paragraph, see? Temba is the youngest Nepalese, see? When he was only 16 years old, he reached the Mount Everest, peak of the Mount Everest. So he was the youngest Nepalese, okay, to have climbed the Mount Everest. When he is not climbing mountains, he plays football and volleyball. See, he has his hobby also. Then he likes to play football. He likes to play volleyball when he is not climbing mountains. He also studies hard. He is a hard-working student in his st study also. And 
wants to become a trekking guide someday. So what, is, what he wants to be? He wants to be a trekking guide, okay? This is all about Mr. Temba Thiri Serpa. After this, we want to do exercises, okay? See, this exercise is also from our textbook. It is a crossword puzzle. See, the meanings of some of the words from the passage above are given below. Find the words and fill in the crossword puzzle. See, these are the words for you. <coughs> Look at. Across. Across means this side you have to go horizontally, okay? See, a game in which two teams hit a ball over a high net using their hands. See, there, uh, there is a net and we play over the net. We pass the ball. What type of game that one? And Temba also likes to play this game. Can you guess? You have to write down here. Now, your guess. See, B. Now, can you guess again? Yes, you are right. That is B O L L E Y B A L L. Volleyball, isn't it? So, this is the correct word for this meaning. Okay? This is how. Again, number two. A brother of your father or mother, what do you call? to your, uh, let's say, father's brother or your mother's brother. See, you have to write down here. So it should be, can you tell me? Well, you are right. It is U and, please tell me the spelling with me, okay? U N C L E. Uncle, that's good. Now again, number three. A person who takes a long walk in the hills or mountains, you have to write down here. So you also, please. Try to tell with me, okay? It is, let's say, T R E K K E R, tracker, okay? It is tracker. Now, another we have to go down this side, okay? Four, coverings for the hands to keep them warm. Suppose if it is very cold, we put something, you know, that is what we call covering. And so, what is the word we have to write down in the crossword puzzle? See, this is number four. Where is number four? It is here. You have to write down like this. So please, quickly tell me, okay? So it is G L O V E S gloves, okay? Now we have another. A person who shows the way, you know very easily. And this is number five here. This is G U I D E guide. And the last word we have to find out in this crossword puzzle is the highest point of a mountain or hill is, where you have to write it down? Here, 6. See, it is, yes, tell with me, P-E-A-K, pick. So this is the crossword puzzle solution, okay? I hope you might have immediately written in your exercise book. You can write down. It is not necessary to make puzzle right now, okay? You can just write it down in your exercise book. And later on, if you are free, you can draw this puzzle, no problem. Otherwise, it is not necessary to draw right now. Now, another, another we have true or false. Decide whether the following sentences are true or false. The questions are, see, Temba was born in the hills of our country. Whether it is true or false, you just think. And you can just write down true or false in your exercise book. And you have to tell me later. Number B, he is a Serpa boy. Is this true or false? He climbed the Mount Everest in the year 2000. Another, he was 17 when he climbed the Mount Everest. Another, he lost three fingers of his right hand. True or false? Number F, he wants to help climbers as a guide in the future. Now check your true or false number A. It is, yes, true in a hilly region, okay? Number two, that is also true. He is a Serpa boy. Number C, he climbed the Mount Everest in the year 2000. It is false because he was nearly reaching the peak, but he got a problem in his leg. That's why he had to come down. But next year, he was able, that was 2001, okay? That's why you have to write down false. Number D, he was 17. See, it is given in the first paragraph. He saw his dream at the age of 16 years. Means in his 16 years, he climbed the Mount Everest. That's why false. 
He lost three fingers of his right hand, two fingers of his left hand, and three fingers of his right hand. That's why it is very good. True. Number F. He wants to help climbers as a guide in the future. It's given in the last line, last paragraph. And it is surely, you know, true. Is it clear, dear students? Now, I want to show you the questions first. And you have to tell me answer. See, when was Temba Thiri born? What did he love to do when he was a child? Okay, first question, when was Temba Thiri born? Second question, what did he love to do when he was a child? And you can find answers of number A in this paragraph. See, Temba Thiri Serpa, born on 6 May 1985. These are the main words you can use in your answer. Okay, so, and for number two, from this paragraph, you can find answer. The Serpas are explored climbers. These highlighted words are used for our answer. Temba loved to stand and gaze at Mount Everest, okay? So from here, when we find out the answer, our answer should be like this. Number one, Temba Thiri was born on 6 May 1985. See, half answer you can find in the question itself. Temba Thiri was born, okay? And you have to write, out, write down only this one, on 6 May 1985. Very easy, isn't it? Now answer number two. He loved to stand and gaze. See, what he loved to do? You can write, he loved to do when he was. You can find half answer in the question. He loved to from here and when he was a child also from question. And you have to find out only this one from this paragraph. He loved to stand and gaze at the Mount Everest when he was a child. Okay? Likewise, I want to show you other questions. See, question number C. How old was he when he prepared himself to climb Mount Everest? You have to find out the age. For that, you can find this in this paragraph. See, when he was about 15 years old, he prepared himself, okay? And question number D, you can find in this paragraph. See, pull off his gloves to tighten his boots. What mistake did he make? So your answer should be like this. He prepared himself to climb Mount Everest when he was about 15 years old. And then another, he pulled off his gloves to tighten his boots during the climb, all right? Now, other two more questions we have. See, why did his daughter guides make him stop climbing? And another question, what does Temba want to be in the future? So for question number E, you can find, find your answer here. Fingers to get frostbitten and bleeding, okay? From there, you have to make answer. And again, see, why he stopped is his guides wanted him to turn back. From here, you have to write the correct answer for number E. And for number F, you can find here. See, these are the words to write our answer. And your answer should be, see, his guides made him stop climbing because his fingers got first bitten and bleeding. His guides from here, and then we got from here, okay? And for last, what does Temba want to be in the future? See, it is very easy. He wants to be a trekking guide in the future. This is how you have to write down your answers, okay? Now, after this, at last, dear students, I am going to give you home assignment, homework. Please try to do it in your free time. And then later on, please show it to your subject teacher. And the home assignment for you is Write a paragraph on a real hero of my society in about 100 words. It is W-O-R-D-S words, okay? Then, I want to give you the clues. Name, you can write, is, his or her village or town, about parents, his or her dream, and effort to get that dream, and then success. Based on these clues, you can write a paragraph on a real hero of my society. Dear students, I hope you enjoyed today's class and I hope you might have better understood about uh, writing comprehensive exercises and at the same time, you might have known about Temba Chiri Serpa, a real hero of Nepal. This much for today. Have a wonderful time. Goodbye. <laughs>